Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Raul from Raul's Aquatics and Reptiles. I hope everybody's having a nice weekend. I know I am. So basically this week I just want to talk about uh, biological filtration and mechanical filtration. When I first got into the fish hobby, I, uh, I didn't know anything about biological filtration or mechanical filtration, the nitrogen cycle and things of that nature. So what was happening to me is when I first got my uh, tank, which was the uh, 10 gallon tank uh, that I put the uh, neon tetras in, I was always doing a, uh, a heavy water change, which was 75%, 80%, damn near the whole uh, tank was getting drained of water. And then I would refill it back up with water. And then after a couple of days, it was going cloudy. Um, so I was getting frustrated and not understanding why the tank was getting cloudy when I was actually cleaning the tank surfaces real good and cleaning the substrate, draining the water. I was thinking that that's what needed to be done until I started doing more research on YouTube and started realizing that no. Uh, started knowing about beneficial bacteria and the surface area, how it carried all the beneficial bacteria. After doing more research, of course, and then upgrading to a 20 gallon and 40 gallon, I started noticing the percentage of water changes that I needed to do in order to keep the water clear. So, you know, I just want to talk about it real fast and kind of let you guys know exactly what are the things that I do. Uh, some of the uh, sponges and equipments that I use so that way if you guys are struggling with the same thing You guys can pretty much uh, try to use the same products I use or go on YouTube like I do and educate myself So uh, stay tuned. All right guys. So basically I'm going to try to break down Biological filtration in the simplest form try not to get too technical So that way um, you guys can understand biological filtration so when you get a tank you bring it home the tank, a lot of people tell you you need to cycle that tank, okay? It all starts with bacteria, beneficial bacteria. But bacteria in general um, takes place like this. Bacteria needs a large area, surface area to colonize on. That can either be tank glass, it can be the decorations, it can be the gravel or the sand. Any area, any surface area inside your tank, the bacteria is going to grow on. Now, in order for you to control it, that's where the biomedia comes in. Because that also creates a surface area for the um, bacteria to grow on, which is what we call beneficial bacteria. Now, bacteria starts with the, uh, let's say, the nitrogen cycle. You need to try to understand how the nitrogen cycle consists of, which is the three steps. Ammonia, nitrites, and nitrate. Um, there's ways to control nitrates. You can either add plants, algae, um, water changes, which to me is the most important thing. Water changes is what helps you control the bacteria and the nitrites, not the nitrites, the nitrates in your tank. The biological filter is what's going to make the water safe for your fish. That's why they tell you, you can either get a hang on the back filter, you can either get a sump, or you can use canister filters. All three do the same thing. All of them all have mechanical and biological filtration inside of them. Bio rings, lava rock, sponges or create surface area for your biological filtration for the bacteria. I use, hang on the back filters on my um, small tanks, up to 40 gallons. Anything over 40 gallons, I would use a canister filter. And all my tanks, I also use mechanical filtration, which are my sponges. I get an airline, hook up the airline to the sponges, and that's how my sponge filter works. That pretty much, is, that pretty much is going to dictate how clear your water is. All the uh, particular matters inside the water column that creates the water to become cloudy. Food waste, um, f uh, fish poop. Your sponge filter is going to catch all that and help the water stay clear. And of course, doing your water changes. So it's very important doing your water changes you want to do 
uh, your water testing. I use the API full water testing kit. I try to do it at least once a week and test my waters to make sure that my nitrates, my nitrites are all in the recommended levels that they need to be because that is what's going to cause harm to your fish. Ammonia spikes, nitrate spikes, too much uh, feeding of the uh, fishes, which creates food waste, fish poop. That's why they tell you not to overfeed your fishes in order to be able to control the, um, the cycle in your tank. So I just try to make it as easy as possible as I could, trying not to get too technical. I'm not a chemist. Just understand that bacteria needs a surface area in order to start forming. That's why they tell you also when you're cleaning the products like your filters when you're doing your water change not to use tap water because what you do is you kill all the beneficial bacteria that was already growing on those surface areas that's why you take the old tank water from the water change and you clean out your hang on the back filters you clean your bio rings you clean your lava rock and you clean your sponges inside of that water so you don't lose that beneficial bacteria and you don't crash your tank by using tap water so uh that's pretty much all i want to talk about now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to show you some of the different products that i use inside of the um hang on the back filters that i use hi guys welcome back so i'm outside on my patio and i'm going to just show you a couple of different products that i use inside my tank and inside the hang on the back filters um so that way you guys can get an idea of some of the things that i talk about so you can't go wrong with the polyfill. I put polyfill inside my filters. Actually, the polyfill is the last thing that I put in the sequence of products that I use in the, in, in the uh, filters. For instance, I always put um, my sponge, my sponges on the bottom. I put the biomedia in the middle, and then I use the polyfill last as the water exits out of the uh, filter into the uh back into the tank catches all the gunk so when i do my weekly water changes i i get rid of the um the polyfill and i put new polyfill because the polyfill starts to turn brown it has all the gunk and all the food that it, that the filter has been picking up so definitely get you some polyfill um you can go to uh your local chain store they'll have it sponges these are all the sponges that I use. As you see, they all come in different. They're all different sizes because I cut them to fit the uh, hang on the back filters. You know, you got your coarse, your medium, and then your fine levels of sponges. Usually the sequences you use coarse, then medium, then fine. Some of the hang on the back filters don't have enough room to use all three. So I just use the coarse one and put it in there, but it doesn't really matter. You can order this on Amazon, sponge filters, and uh, just pick, you know, select which one you think is going to be appropriate for you. But I just usually just cut them and I put them inside my filters. All the hang on the back filters that I got, I never use the, um, the product that comes with the filter. I usually just put my own stuff in there. Uh, I've mentioned this before in one of my old videos. I watched this guy called Pond Guru. He has this thing where he pimps hang on the back filters and canister filters so I just follow his ways of doing it and I just incorporated my own little things to uh, pimp out my own filters the way I feel uh, it's going to work for me like I said you guys can use whatever you guys want to use I'm just showing you some of the things that I use bio rings for your beneficial bacteria and bacteria to uh, form on. these are some of the bio rings that I use for my biological filtration I got sponge filters for your mechanical filtration. I usually just get these sponge filters here. Um, they're like seven dollars on Amazon. Um, put the airline inside and uh, catches all the gunk out of the water columns and uh, keeps your water clear. Um, I usually keep all my um, sponge filters. I put them in plastic bags and reuse them because they still have beneficial bacteria on them so i can use these for if i want to cycle a tank uh let's just say if i was getting some fish 
and uh, I didn't have, you know, I needed to cycle a new tank. That's why I keep all, all the old bio media and mechanical filtration. I keep all the sponges and bio media and everything. Put them in plastic bags. That way, uh, it still has the beneficial bacteria on them, and I could just put them inside the tank and start cycling the tank. This is some bio media uh, that I have that's been in the tank, so I keep it, like I said, to cycle up a new tank. I ordered these bags off of Amazon and I just put them inside the filter, the hang on the back filter, and uh, or the canister filter. Let's see what else I got here. Pre sponge filters. This is for the this is for the intake of the uh, hang on the back filters. Has a hole, stick it on the intake, and uh, works like a pre filter help catch all the gunk so that way all those big pieces don't go inside the filter and clog up the filter get stuck on this here so when you do your water change you just take this off you rinse it put it back on the intake that too you can buy on Amazon pre sponges I got old sponges that I took off of um, filters that I keep like I said has beneficial bacteria keep them in a plastic bag so that's pretty much it I don't think I got anything else to show uh, so that's going to end my video for this week uh, if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, ding the notification bell so you guys get notified every time I put out a new video if you like the video like share with your friends hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you guys next week so take care God bless to the next time